Now, cases of children being locked away because of their mental or physical disability can be found all over this country. The stigma attached to people living with disabilities often denies them access to education and, by extension, a shot at living a productive life. However, at Limuru Cheshire Home, girls with physical and mental disabilities are welcomed and equipped with important life skills. We visited the home run by dedicated Catholic nuns and bring you their story on her say tonight. With ornate dresses on the wall and beautiful beaded handbags, one might think they've walked into a fashion boutique. These items are the handiwork of the girls in this room. Despite their challenges, they managed to create amazing pieces that they even sell. The girls here are mentally or physically challenged, and this is a home that not only caters to their needs, but teaches them life skills that will help reintegrate them into society. That our parents tend to take the normal abled children to be given the first priority. They go to school, and when the account, when the funds are drained, is when they remember that, oh, we also have this other child that needs to be taken to school. So by the time they're coming here, the parents are courageously telling us, sister, you know what? I had to take all the other children to school, and the money is finished. Limuru Cheshire Home was founded in 1972 as a home for physically challenged girls and eventually grew to accommodate girls with autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, and mental retardation. The home that is run by Assumption Sisters of Nairobi isn't your average care facility. It offers the 50 girls who call it home economic empowerment, physio and occupational therapy, literacy programs, and even farming lessons. The efforts of the sisters seem to be doing the girls some good. The parents tell us or they give a feedback after the holidays. But you know, sister, we have observed a lot of difference in this girl. She's able to clean the house before she couldn't. And she's able to talk because through the interactions. The girls are either brought by their families or referred by other children's homes. Fees are 6,000 shillings a month that covers food and accommodation. Even with the contributions, the sisters still need support from well-wishers to not only keep operations going, but ensure the young women are equipped with the necessary skills to be self-sufficient. Our prayer as the sisters and as the staff working at Cheshire Home is whereby we'll get, after the girl has been educated and she has acquired the skills, we either manage to get them a small capital that they can go and start some business. Or a sewing machine for those who are doing dressmaking, that we can tell the girl, here is your machine, here is the capital, now start your business. And then we'll be monitoring it as she works. <laughs> It's a slogan the sisters here at Limuru Cheshire Home hope is heard loud and clear to challenge stereotypes and uplift people living with disabilities to lead productive lives.